This is Joseph again. Um, listen, you know, uh, we're sitting here talking about when we realized we were finally awake. And uh, a lot of you guys know about where I've been and, and where I'm at now. And, and you've seen, some of you have even seen the transformation. Maybe if you're a friend of mine from a long, long time ago, or maybe you've just started watching the band even a few years ago, you've seen uh, or heard my, my uh, life story. But for those of you that haven't, uh, man, I've been through a whole lot in my life. And I know what it feels like to to never ever feel accepted. You know, I started using cocaine at the age of 14 years old. Uh, I just felt like there was no hope for my life at all, you know, and uh, my father, he, um, he used to abuse my mother and, uh, and later left uh, our family. And uh, my mom and him split up, got a divorce. And, uh, and so I didn't even know my father until later on in life, much later on in life. And, uh, and I always felt like like, I just really wasn't good enough for anything, man. And uh, maybe some of you even feel like that. But I just felt like there was no hope for my life and like there was no purpose for me to even be here on this earth. You know, I would wake up and wonder, why am I even here? And I didn't really believe in God. Um, I just really didn't care, actually, uh, whether there was a God or not. I figured if there was a God, what would he even want with someone like me? Started getting arrested started getting in trouble with the police, started selling drugs and making a lot of bad decisions and then by the age of around 21 or so I had about a $400 a day cocaine addiction and I just hated life man and I wanted to die and uh, so one day I decided I was going to commit suicide and uh, I took a bunch of drugs to end my life and uh, my mother walked in unexpectedly and uh, I, I uh, overdosed on cocaine in front of my in front of my own mother um, in her house, and uh, she believed in God and she was praying for me every day all the time, man. But she was screaming and crying as it happened, and she had called the paramedics and she was praying. And paramedics came and they had me hooked up to all these wires, and and uh, I imagine it was pretty scary for my mother and even for me. I was coming in and out. And in the back of the ambulance, I felt the power of God, and He touched my life. And uh, that was the first time in my life that I ever felt awake. That was the first time in my life I ever felt like I was accepted. It was the first time in my life I came to the realization that there was a God in heaven that loved me. Even though maybe everybody else had said these things about me, that I was just a drug addict, that I would never amount to anything, that I was stupid, that, you know, I grew up with a weight problem, you know, I was always made fun of for being overweight, you know what I mean, never even took my shirt off at the beach or at the swimming pool, you know, because I was embarrassed, I didn't want someone to make fun of me, man, and in the back of the ambulance that day, when God, when God came into my heart, when Jesus came into my heart, that's when I realized I was finally awake, that there's so much more to life, and all that darkness and all that haze Everything that I looked at and it seemed so dark, in an instant seemed bright. And that's, and that's what I want for you guys. And that's what our band wants for you guys. And that's what our record, Finally Awake, is about. It's about coming to the realization that there's more to life than, than, what, than how we're living it in this depression. And in this empty state where we feel like there's no hope. You know, today I'm married. And... I've been married about seven and a half years to an awesome, awesome, beautiful woman. Her name's Lori, and uh, I'd like to show you guys, um, uh, or introduce you guys to my wife um, in a minute. But I also, I'm a father too, you know, I got two kids, and I got a five-year-old son, and he's really, really cool, his name is Blaze. And then I've got a two-year-old son, and he's cool too, and his name is Caden, and then my wife and I, um, we got a, a baby on the way. January 10th, we got another son coming, and his name's going to be Sage. And, uh, and you know, when I look at my kids every day and I look at my wife, it feels like I'm still dreaming, in a sense. You know, it feels like I'm still dreaming, like, like, like I'm having an awesome dream instead of the nightmare that I used to live. But it's like fantasy, but I, but I know that I'm awake, and I know that I'm alive, and that this has really happened to me. Because God had mercy on me, and God had a plan for me. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, and hopefully you guys will share some stuff with us. And 
Uh, my buddy Jeremy uh, from Seventh Day Slumber is going to share stuff about his life, and and Josh is going to share stuff about his life, and Ray is going to share stuff about his life about like when they realized that you know they were finally awake. On you know uh, they're going to share about their life and how uh, things kind of seemed to get them down, and, and then um, and then God spoke to their heart. And uh, you know we're not trying to be preachy with you or. Uh, or anything like that. We just want to share our hearts with you and share about where we were and where we are now. So uh, you guys keep checking back. Um, we love you guys, man, and uh, hopefully you like the new record. I think it rocks. Peace out.